since I turned 40, one of the things that I pay attention a lot more compared to when I was younger is my health. Even though I'm not actually getting really old, physically, I've started to feel like my body is getting older for sure. My muscle is not as strong. My metabolism is slowed down quite a bit. I can feel I get tired a little bit easier. And I also have back pains when I sit for too long because of my work. So maintaining a good health is one of my daily focus. I want to make sure I don't accumulate any of the bad stuff in my body that's gonna make me get sick down the road when I get older. So today I want to share with you five important healthy habits to maintain a good lifestyle in the 40s. Number one is regular exercise. You want to have an exercise that is easy to maintain. At least 30 minutes of gentle exercise every day is just enough. And depending on your lifestyle, depending on how busy you are, try to do it at least 15-20 minutes. Something is better than nothing. It's better to do a little bit every day then you do three hours once a week. My personal favorite exercise is walking. I walk my dog after dinner every day. Yoga and Pilates is very, very good. I love doing yoga, doing Pilates, and I find it very beneficial to learn that breathing exercise from yoga and Pilates to increase that oxygen intake in your body, particularly in yoga. When you learn that breathing exercise, it really helps you bring your attention inward learn to find your strength, learn to learn about yourself. Swimming is also a great exercise. Some people do encourage women over 40 to do a little bit of weightlifting. I personally try weightlifting, but I just can't get myself to be consistent with it. You also want to find an exercise that kind of click with your personality as well, like yoga and Pilates that is more focused, but also it's more quiet and gentle and relaxing in a way. Some people do like jogging and running that is a little bit more intense and more like faster in pace. So it really depends on your personality and just find one exercise, one a few exercise that actually you love to do and it's easy to maintain. Number two is healthy eating. When I was in my 20s and 30s, I was not a good eater. I ate a lot of junk food. I don't have a sweet tooth, but I do like salty, crunchy food. So I ate a lot of like chips, instant noodles, those kind of really salty food. And I had really bad acne when I was younger. Even like when you get to adulthood, because of the things that you eat, a lot of inflammation going on in the body and that affects the skin as well. So that's what happened to me. If I eat a little bit of like fried and unhealthy food, it just shows up on my skin right away. So now that in my 40s, I try to pay a lot more attention to what I eat. Sometimes I still can't get away with salty food, but I try to control myself, be more disciplined, try to bypass those chips aisles in the grocery store. Just be mindful about the things that you eat. We're all human. It's not, you're not gonna be like completely clean. At least I can't get myself to eat completely clean, but just be mindful about things that you eat. A few things that I find that are really helpful to my body. Number one is warm lemon water first thing in the morning before breakfast, before I eat anything. That has really helped a lot with my digestive issue, with my inflammation. It alkalines the body and it helps activate the gut. I've been doing that for many, many years. Warm lemon water in the morning really help prevent constipation. Another thing that I find really helpful is I stop eating after dinner, usually at about seven o'clock, seven before eight o'clock. After I finish dinner, I don't eat anything. Most of the day, 99.99% of the day, I don't eat anything. Even if I have I feel a little bit peckish in the evening before I go to bed. I still try to not eat anything. That really helped keep my weight down. It helped me prevent bloating, more fruits and vegetables, drink a lot of liquids. During the day, I drink a lot of tea and water, just keep myself hydrated. So these kind of small habits, it doesn't seem like much, but if you can incorporate a little bit every single day, it really helps a lot in the long run. Number three is stress management techniques. I've been going on for years and years as a very tired and stressed person. Because of my job, it's mentally kind of intense as well. So I'm constantly really stressed for a very, very long time. And that really is not good. It's 
affects our mental health, it affects our relationship, it affects how we react to different things, cause inflammation in the body. Now in my 40s, I really try to learn different techniques to manage my stress level. Breathing exercise is very helpful. I still try to get into meditation. I still haven't actually got into a routine meditation. The exercise like yoga and Pilates and walking. Those are great stress management techniques as well. When you get into those exercises, your mind is more relaxed. You can kind of push out all the random thoughts and the negative thoughts in your mind. And I just find that when I do those things, it really helps my mind be more uh, calm and relaxed. When I was younger, I like to multitask. I do many, many things at the same time. But now that in my 40s, I try to do one thing at a time. Just think about it. Most of the things in life are not that important. Unless somebody is dying, some things can wait. I try to do one thing at a time, try to make myself slow down and focus one thing at a time. And that really helps manage the stress level. Number four is getting in Enough sleep. When we're all younger, we don't realize sleeping is such an important thing. Like since teenager year, my teenage daughter now is like that, always stay a little bit late and not getting that much sleep. I was the same. I don't sleep that well. But now I want as much sleep as possible. Every night I try to go to bed before 10.30 in order to get eight hours of sleep. Getting enough sleep, it makes our mood better. It makes us less stressed and have less anxiety. On the weekend, I take naps too. I think taking nap is such a great little recovery practice that we should all have every day. Even if like during workday, if I can get like a 15 minutes close eye, just rest, take a short nap, that helped me recover from all the work and stress. It helped with the skin as well. Number five is regular health checkups. Even like before I was in my 40s, I really take advantage of my regular checkups with my dentist and with my family doctor, especially my dentist. When I was in China, when I was younger, I never had the opportunity to go to a dentist. So when I moved to the States and in Canada and we started to have work insurance that we can go to a dentist, I take advantage of it. I will go have my teeth clean, have my teeth check up, make sure if there's anything wrong with my teeth, I'll go fix it because our teeth actually connect a lot to our health. If your teeth is not good, it caused a lot of other medical issues down the road. And also even with regular family doctor checkup as well, annual checkup is a must have. If there's any underlying disease that you know, need to be discovered. Checking up with the doctor is so essential, so necessary. You don't want to wait till when you actually get sick before you go see a doctor. And also kind of pay attention to your health. You know your body the best. So if there's anything wrong that happens in your body, you will notice it and don't just push it away. Make sure you talk to the doctor, let them know whether it's something that you need to look at or not. Let them know, keep tab of it, write it down. That can go a long way. So these are the five healthy habits to have in the 40s. I hope you find it helpful. Let me know if you have any of these habits. If you like this type of video, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll see you in the next video.